I found out that back home was very weird. We loved our dead. We celebrated our dead by telling stories. Like going to, like having field trips to the cemetery to um, make pencil rubbings of the words on the tombstones and then go back and look in books and find out who was there. We would have tours. I found out that kids don't normally do this. Their teachers don't randomly take them on ghost tours and say, in this house, there was a lady that had lived here and she would explain the stories of the different houses that were rumored to be haunted and whatever. And um, I think the thing that stuck with me most is um, one of the stories she told as we crossed the railroad tracks would be that there would be this gaseous forms that everybody saw gaseous forms for the most part. Just come up the tracks and just keep going. But I found out the truth one night. Um, the train was like, it hadn't come by. So we all woke up because we're used to it coming by at a certain time. So I met my dad outside. And uh, there were more than usual going up and down the tracks. Except we didn't see them as gaseous forms. It's almost like the spirits were walking up and down the track conversing with each other, talking about something. Like this one, uh, these two men in older clothes, um, button-up shirts, dark-colored pants, and were walking up the tracks towards uh, the hill, and they were talking about something they needed to do. They needed to go and uh, hunt and get food for the family for that night. And this other lady was just walking down, except when she got to the uh, part where the vehicles would go past on the train tracks, she just kept going at an angle. And we watched her go up and just go straight in the house. So we started following. And she went to the kitchen and just started doing things she started looking through the cabinets like she there was something there that she should have she should get for some reason and this had not been a normal thing i'd seen before i knew about the gaseous forms i knew about the spirits i knew that um my grandfather had stayed around but neither of us could figure out why she was messing around in the kitchen. Why she had started bringing things out for, I guess she was going to bake something. And then my dad said, who are you? What are you doing? And she just disappeared. And that is one of the scariest gaseous form things. I know on other places they talk about them being lights on the railroad tracks. That I can find more than um, it being actual spirits. But the traffic is just not something I had knew was normal for any other town. And um, I think one of the uh, worst ones I saw of the spirits was um, one of the people up the street had drove their uh, car off the back. Well, not back, but straight back and went down the drop, sudden steep drop. And when they hit, I think something happened and they broke their neck or whatever something happened and they passed away and i could see them walking past on the train tracks like they were still going to get to their destination and it confused me that normal people would talk about it but they couldn't see it <laughs>